D2L can house your entire gradebook. This creates a system where students can easily access their grades at any hour of the day. I'll demonstrate designing a gradebook that uses weights for grade calculations. In your course navbar, click Assessments and then Grades. By default, D2L is set up for a points grade design, and that's covered in the D2L Bootcamp course within the Assessment module. So we'll need to change that default from a points grade design to a weighted grade design. Begin by clicking the Settings option in the upper right hand side of any of the Grades tabs. Next, click the third tab called Calculation Options. We will officially change the gradebook to a weighted gradebook by clicking the radio button next to Weighted and clicking Save and Yes to confirm. Yes one more time for a final confirmation. If we click Close from that settings area, we'll now design the gradebook structure by going into the Manage Grades tab of the Grades area. Under the blue New dropdown, you have a choice of item and category. We'll create all the grade categories first, so click Category. A category is like a folder that houses the same types of grades. I'll name this first category Homework. In my grading plan, homework is worth 10% of the overall grade, so I'll put 10 in the weight box. Typically, we choose to distribute the weight evenly across items in a category, so click the radio button next to Distribute Weight Evenly. Finish the category setup by clicking Save and Close. The other grade categories in my course are Projects, which is worth 20% of the overall grade, Exams worth 30%, and Quizzes worth 40%. So let's set up those other categories in the gradebook now. Click New, click Category, type in Projects for the name, Type in 20 for the weight. Click to distribute weight evenly across all items. And then click Save and Close. Again, click New. Click Category. Type in Exams for the name. Type in 30 for the weight. Click to distribute weight evenly across all items. And click Save and Close. There's now a message in the Manage Grades area below the New dropdown that says final calculated grade sums to 60%, not 100%. We need 40% more. So finish by clicking New, then Category, type in Quizzes, type in 40 for the weight, click to distribute weight evenly across all items, and save and close. Our category work is now complete since it all adds up to 100% for the overall grade. But so far, we don't have any grade items to hold values, so let's create our first homework grade item. This time, when you click New, click Item. We'll choose the first option of creating a numeric grade item. Most of the time, that will be your choice. I'll name this M1 Homework. Next, I'll scroll down and select the Homework category to house it. I'll type in 100 for how many maximum points this item will be worth, and then click Save and Close. Notice how D2L is indenting that grade item under this homework category. We will repeat that process and click New, then Item, next Numeric, and we'll call it M2 Homework. We'll choose to put it in that same homework category with 100 maximum points. You could click Save and New at the bottom to continue that process of creating more grade items until we have all the homework assignments accounted for. However, I'll stop now and click Save and Close. Do you see how each of these homework grade items are being evenly distributed, each being worth 50% of that category's value? After adding another, that value will change to 33.3 and so on, since we marked to evenly distribute those homework grade items. You could continue creating and filing new grade items into your four main grade categories to arrive at your completed D2L gradebook. That covers designing the overall structure of a D2L weighted gradebook. The points gradebook design is covered separately in the D2L Bootcamp course within the Assessments module.